Hi guys, welcome back. It has been a long time and I am so sorry. Life has just been crazy, but we are back on track. We're going to get a new schedule going here. Um, we also have a new setup, as you can tell. This is my desk space and I've had this for a while, but I've never had it out like this. Um, I used to have a small little desk in the corner where I would do like my drafting work and whatever else. So I just changed it around. I got new shelving, um, a new desk, and everything. And so we're all set to go. It's going to be so much better for filming, so I'm kind of excited. Um, I also have my lovely flowers in the corner from my boyfriend. And um, yeah, I guess we can get started. So today we are doing um, personalized um, glasses, as you can see here we have our glassware and at the bottom it's actually chalkboard paint so this is just nice because then you can use your chalk and you can write his and hers or whatever or whatever you want on it and it just makes it you put names it just makes it easier to tell what glass is yours so it'll look like this so let's get started guys Okay, so what you're going to need is a piece of cardboard, um, paper, just whatever else you're going to spray paint on so you don't make a mess. You'll need your glassware, which you can get anywhere you want, depending on what type of um, stem you want, depending on how big you want the flute, which is the top part here. So whatever glasses you want, you can get them wherever you want. I try to take off the stickers on the bottoms or if there's stickers anywhere, make sure they're kind of clean before you get going. Um, you need your chalk for later, of course, and you need, um, I'm using spray paint chalk, you can actually get, uh, spray paint chalk, spray paint, um, chalkboard, sorry. You can get this at Walmart, um, you can get it at Michael's, kind of any art store. So, take it off, shake it, get it kind of prepped here. You're also going to need some tape, I should kind of do this first, I guess. Alrighty, um, there we go. Okay, so wherever you want the lines to cut off um, from where the chalkboard stops and starts is where you kind of need to put your tape. So I'm going to stop it right there. Now it's hard, of course, getting it perfectly rounded with tape. Um, you don't even have to use this tape. You should probably use painter's tape. I'm just out of painter's tape right now. Surprise, surprise. And there we go. Now, for the first one I did, I didn't really use much tape. I kind of wanted it to be a faded look because it faded up. So, this one, I'm going to try to do the same thing. Shake your can up again and just give it a go. Now let's try to get some of the stem there. There we go. Now, it looks like black paint when you first spray it on. It looks very glossy and whatever you want to call that. Um, leave it off to the side, let it dry. When it dries, it will give a matte finish and it will be chalkboard, chalkboardable. <laughs> what, what would you call that? Hmm, I don't know. We need to find a word for that. This is what it's going to look like. You let it sit off to the side. When you're done, you're going to peel the tape off and you will have this lovely finish on the end of your glass. Um, personalized touches, of course. I've put hers on mine. You can put whatever you want it to say. You can have your name, you can have your nicknames. They're great for parties because you can personalize everybody's glasses and this way no one is going to steal yours. So I hope you guys like this little decorating tip. Um, for more, check out my blog or check out my other videos. Have a great day, guys.